our world is increasingly interlinked. Health systems, agricultural production, the global economic outlook, these are all our business. When crises squeeze supply chains or block trade flows across borders, the shockwaves are felt globally and locally. For developing countries, the fallout hits hardest, as food security and livelihoods are already under pressure. And it is governments that are on the front line to respond. At a time when pests and diseases can spread worldwide, protecting food safety, plant and animal health is a global public good. The climate crisis underscores this urgency. Sustainable solutions are needed, and we can act now to invest in recovery for a safer world. But what does that world look like, and who is starting to shape the picture? Isabel knows about safety. Meeting food safety standards has seen a global marketplace open up opportunities with more jobs like hers, boosting economic development in the process. When it comes to agri-food imports, the bar is rising on food safety. We cannot afford not to invest in the right sanitary measures. Food should be safe for consumers everywhere. In low-income countries, the stakes are even higher. Daniel is a safety champion. Training and tools on plant health have cemented his and other smallholder growers' know-how in the region, at the same time as protecting the local environment. Putting in place practices to control the spread of plant pests supports secure food systems. At the same time, this promotes agricultural production and keeps exports flowing, raising incomes and prospects. The alternative outlook is stark. Chompa is safety aware. Joining forces at the grassroots has empowered more women in her community thanks to the skills to manage animal diseases and produce and supply healthy shrimp. Creating partnerships across the public and private sector to strengthen agri-food value chains is vital. Pooling resources and expertise leads to better animal health. When it comes to safety losses, the most vulnerable face the biggest hit. Milton has his safety hat on. At borders, streamlined procedures, joint inspections and controls, and technology such as automation smooth his ride and that of the region's exporters and importers. Facilitating safe trade in agri-food products cuts time and costs at the front line. That is making it easier for farmers, producers and small businesses to trade regionally and globally once they can meet international standards. Safety is critically important in our lives, from what we eat through to how we work and do business. Without a clear pathway to trading safely, sustaining development and growth across communities and countries is at risk. Safe trade is as much the business of government as it is of the private sector and regional and global actors. We can all step up to future-proof priorities and practices. That way, we can support more people who are working hard across supply chains worldwide. Like Isabel, Daniel, 
Chomper and Milton to thrive and bring their goals to life. Join the call to action. Invest in meeting international animal and plant health and food safety standards to protect public health and access markets. Drive government and industry partnerships and build good agricultural, hygiene and manufacturing practices from farms to business. Join up border controls, simplify processes, boost transparency and go digital with new technology to cut down on trade costs. The return on investment benefits us all. Economic resilience against future shocks, levelling the playing field for all countries and shoring up sustainable development. Together we can shape the future of a safer world today. Today.